Welcome back. It's a beautiful day to be alive today. I'm gonna lead you, guide you, walk beside you as we roast and toast our glutes and hamstrings. I'm gonna walk you through the weight I'm using, the reps, the sets, and how to absolutely demolish your hamstrings and your glutes. If you guys are looking for more workouts, definitely head over to my Instagram. I'm posting workouts there daily. They're on my stories, on my feed. That's the hot spot for my workouts. Without further ado, I hope you're ready because this is a really good one. This is a good one. All right, kicking off this workout with sumo deadlifts. It's become a priority of mine to make sure every leg workout starts with a compound movement. Today it's sumo deadlifts. Starting out with our heavy lifts first and then we move into some isolation movements. My second leg day of the week has a heavy emphasis on quads and glutes. So if you want to see what that leg workout looks like, let me know. Four sets of conventional deadlifts. With every set, my reps will decrease, but my weight will increase, putting a big emphasis on progressive overload today. Let's do it. Let's get to it. All right, setting up for barbell sumo deadlifts, taking a wide stance here. So one step half shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed out, pulling the bar up to your shin. I prefer a overhand grip here. A few things I think about before actually pulling the weight, bringing the bar to my shins, sitting back into it, pulling my shoulder blades down, squeezing my lats, taking a deep breath, and bracing my core. Pressing through your heels right here. Deep breath. All right, that was my second set. My first set, I did 10 reps. Second set, I did eight reps, but added weight to it. I think I'm gonna go for another 10 pounds on the barbell and then see if I can hit eight reps again. If I can, I know I need to add a little bit more weight for that last set. So I feel really good. When you're doing your compounds, you're pushing your weight, you're focusing on progressive overload. It's important to take those good rests in between. So each set, you can give it all you have. So I'm taking about a minute and a half to two minutes in between sets here. Halfway down deadlifts, let's get it. All right, going in for third set here. Added 10 pounds to the bar, same thing. Those last two reps were hard, so I'm gonna take a good two minute rest. Last set, I'm gonna add a little bit more weight. I'm so excited about these, one second. Okay, I went and purchased two and a half pound plates because I kept getting to this point where I can't put on another 10, but I do feel like I can add another five to the bar. So I found these two and a half plates. I'm gonna add these. See if my last set, I can get five reps and then we'll be done with deadlifts for the day. All right, you guys, last set, last set, best set. It's not my last set of the day, but you know what I'm saying. I love For the deficit, I'm gonna be standing on a 45 pound plate. Keep in mind these plates are very flat, so make sure you have a very sturdy surface if you're gonna be doing the deficit with me. If you'd rather do this movement with dumbbells, please, please, please keep in mind there's a modification for everyone. If you are a beginner, if you're intermediate, if you're advanced, there's something that you can change in each one of these movements to make sure it fits your level right now if this might be too difficult for you. So swap out the barbell for dumbbells and make this exercise work for you and where you're currently. Yeah. Some form tips here. This is a hinging movement. So with your feet shoulder width apart, you're going to keep your back flat, core braced nice and tight, and focus on your hips pulling back as if there's a string attached to your bum and somebody's pulling you back right here. And as you pull up, think about squeezing through your glutes. Slight bend in your knees, pulling back up through your glutes. Big stretch in your hamstrings, pulling through your glutes, right back up. If you're feeling any pressure in your lower back, shorten the movement. Take out the deficit, don't go as far down. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of weight. I'm gonna take out the deficit so I can show you this movement without the deficit and with a shorter range of motion. The 
this is one of those exercises that I love stopping just short of a full range rep because by stopping just here, instead of coming up a little bit more, you're keeping all of that tension in your glutes the entire time. So through all 10 reps, you have tension in your glutes instead of stopping short and eliminating that tension right here. Remember, pulling up through your glutes. Connect your mind to muscle here so that on the way up, you're physically pressing and squeezing through your glutes. Like I'm on my tiptoes, baby. You think a little too small. I got big goals, baby. Ain't hey, where the money at? Look, I just need the info. Pronto, I go and get it and split it with my kinfolk daily. And I'm the type of that might change my number on you. Yeah, that's how finished with RDLs. Now I'm moving into hip thrusts. Hip thrusts have quickly become my least favorite exercise. I know that's gonna be controversial. Today, I'm gonna to be doing pause hip thrusts. There's a lot of time under tension here. So I'm gonna do four sets of five reps with a three second pause. It's gonna hurt like H-E double hockey sticks, but you and I are gonna get through it. When I tell you that doing hip thrusts on a lower platform completely changed my hip thrust game, that would be an understatement, all right? If your gym has foam boxes, you have this hip thrust bench, try to find something a little bit lower and make sure your hip thrust a million times easier, you know? Cause instead of like doing this on the bench and then falling down, you just, Lean back. Head thrust tips. Make sure your box is sitting right at the bottom of your shoulder blades. And one thing I always get asked is, you're still using barbell pad and you're still getting tons of pain right here. There's this perfect spot between your pubic bone and your hips right here. This is where you wanna put the barbell. So it's not sitting on your groin and it's not sitting on your hips. So it's gonna take a lot of pressure off of these bones and just kinda into that like soft spot. You know what I'm saying? Keep your chin and ribs tucked. You wanna squeeze up to hit that pelvic tilt, but not be hyper extended here. Feet shoulder width apart, shins vertical. I like to point my toes out just a little bit. I found it works a little bit better with my body proportions. So kind of just mess around with it. Do it without the weight and see where you feel it right into your glutes. But even right here, my glutes are on fire. So this is the perfect position for me to be thrusting in. Four sets, five reps. Don't be afraid to add a little weight to your barbell. If your form is perfected and you feel comfortable adding weight, do it. If there's one thing I've learned over the last year, sorry to be dramatic but you're stronger than you think you are, okay? Both mentally and physically. So toss a little weight on there if you can, but only if your form is staying perfect. Four sets of five with a three second hold. I did these last week and my legs were shaking, so I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous about this one. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more weight. I'm gonna add another 10 to the bar here. All right, move it in to set two. All right, I still feel really good, so I'm gonna keep pushing myself and add more weight to the bar. Just another 10 to the bar with each set. We'll see how I, feel, how I feel after this set. So reps are staying the same. We're still doing four sets of five, but with each set, my weight is increasing. into our fourth exercise we are combining one of the most loved exercise bulgarian split squats with single leg rdl this is definitely more of an advanced movement it requires a lot of stabilization so if you cannot do this movement yet just separate the two hit bulgarian split squats and then hit your single leg rdl assisted bite saw so i'll show you those separate i'll show you them together we're doing three sets of five each movement being one rep. Here's my Bulgarian split squat setup pack. A lot of gyms don't have a plethora of squat racks. If you can't find a place to do this on a barbell, then just hit it on a bench like normal. The reason why I love doing this movement with the barbell is because you can find the perfect spot for your proportions. Sometimes benches, they're either too high or they're too low. And here you can find the perfect spot that makes you feel the most comfortable. This is a glute emphasis Bulgarian split squat. So you wanna have that front lean here, pressing up, through your glute, you'll go one rep here, straight into a RDL. So it's important right here to now push your hips back 
and right back up squeezing through your glutes. Both of those movements together, that's one rep. If this is too difficult for you, it does take a lot of stabilization. Just separate out the two. You can even do your Bulgarian split squat assisted by holding on to something like this, the squat rack, holding on to a pull, taking out the weight if you need to. And for the single leg RDL, do it assisted. So keep this back leg back here to balance you. All work still being done through your front leg exactly like that it's all about taking these exercises and making them most suitable for you you got this we've got this this one hurts like a son of a gun but we can do it so please don't miss up the moon yeah. i went too hard for it no i need to beat it oh you mess up the moon all right all right Ooh, i went too hard for it and you need it so please don't mess up the moon don't 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 don't, don't, don't mess up the moon All right, finish it off with two sets of single leg hip thrusts. Just a little more glute work to finish off this workout, especially since the focus here today is glutes and hamstrings. And I would say we've hit them hard, but a little more glutes. These will feel very different from the pause hip thrust that we just did since it is single leg. I'm also using a much lighter weight here. Two sets, I can't decide on reps. I wanna see how I'm feeling. I'm shooting for 12, I have a feeling. I'm only gonna get eight to 10, but I'm gonna try really hard to get to 12, okay? Here is the land mine setup using the same box that I use for hip thrust, a little bit lighter weight. I add the barbell pad to the end of this to still protect my hip and that's it. 12 on each leg. That's the goal. If you're looking for a modification to make this quite a bit easier, just switch to the landmine for a dumbbell and do the exact same movement. I made it for 12, not as bad as I thought. Hitting the left leg for 12. Same pointers as before. You want the box at the base of your shoulder blades, shin vertical. This leg's not being used, but of course, if you wanna use it assisted, you still can and do more of a B stance. And you can see the barbell is ending halfway across my body. So all weight is being placed into our working leg. So now again, all right, you guys, that is going to wrap up today's leg workout. As always, I will write the entire workout in the description box below. If you are looking for more programming, whether you work out at home or at the gym, if you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced, if you're looking for more workouts like this, please check out my app, Alive, that's my baby. We have tons of programs where I'm right next to you, leading you, guiding you, your gym BFF right in the palm of your hand. So I will leave the link to my app, Alive, below. Definitely check it out. That's my homegirl. That's my baby. Thank you. All right, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for making it this far in the video. And until next time, I will see you next time.